Hello guys, Survival Tech Nord here. Today we're going to show you how to set up the Wolfie Link audio interface with the FT817 from Yezu for digital modes using Android OS. This being a technical video, I'll skip the normal brouhaha and jump right into it. It's very important not to skip ahead and just follow the sequence. The very first thing we're going to do is install the apps. So if you haven't done that already, go ahead uh, to the Play Store uh, and install the apps you want to use with the Wolfie Link. Since I've already got multiple videos up with PSK31 or Droid PSK, uh, we're going to go ahead and use that one as the baseline for this video. Now we're going to go into menu number 26 on the FT817 and change that menu item to user upper sideband digital. And if for some reason you're using lower sideband, you can set it to L for lower sideband. For the moment, that's all we have to do for the 817. Next, we'll connect the Wolfie Link to the digital port on the 817. Take note here, guys, the Minidin is a delicate port. Uh, if you force it in, it will certainly break. If it doesn't go in easily, you're probably doing it wrong. Now we'll plug the data cable from the Wolfie Link into the data port of the 817. Plug the other end of the Miniden data cable into the Wolfie Link. Now plug the 4-pole TRRS connector into the Wolfie Link and the other end into your tablet or smartphone. Now let's remove the two top screws which hold the top cover onto the Wolfy link. You may or may not need to make an adjustment to the transmit levels, but we'll know that after we test. In order to complete the next step, you'll need to tune in to your PSK31 frequency on HF, and it'll sound something like this. Now go ahead and open up uh, Droid PSK or whatever app you're using. Before we test, be sure to disable the notifications in your tablet or smartphone. Then turn the volume on your phone up to about 90%. Now once you've got the app open, go ahead and click Settings, and then check PSK Mode, and enable PSK31. Now if you've connected everything correctly, on your app screen you'll be able to see different streams of PSK31 coming in. Go ahead and try it. Click one of the strongest streams that you're coming in. The brighter and thicker the line, the stronger the signal coming in. If you're going, to, if you get intelligible text, you won't need to adjust the receive levels. After testing for a while, you may have to adjust the receive pot on the Wolfy Link. Finally, the Wolfy Link manual explains very well which one is the transmit pot and which one is the receive pot, as well as how to adjust them. So I'll leave that part of the setup to the user manual. Finally, you'll be adjusting your transmit levels. Once again, I'll rely on the user manual for that. But test first if you're actually being heard. The best way to test those transmit levels is with another radio operator. Make a sked with them, use a phone or a VHF radio, uh, so that you can communicate with them in real time. You can make adjustments until they are able to uh, receive your transmitted text as well. And that's about it. If your receive audio is good and you get intelligible text from other stations outside, and your buddy who you've called and got help uh, with your transmit levels uh, is receiving your text, so you can button up the Wolfy link and uh, start to rock and roll. Alright guys, that's it. Remember to like, share, subscribe, let people know what we're doing with this channel, and uh, we hope to see you with the next video. Thanks a lot. Ciao.